There's a lot of glamour in the film industry and, um, and a lot of work, a lot of very hard work. Directors, writers, actors, they're all very, very important. Do you like what I'm doing? Huh? Do you like it? Should I go down on my knees for this? Yes. Um, sure. Fine. Somebody has to find that talent, and that's where I come in. My name is John Jackson, and I am a casting director. Yes, so sexy in your chair. You're an actor. Don't despair. You're a model with that hair. You make all boys stop and stare. You're so right. You're out of sight. You're manly. I am probably best known for the, the film Sideways. Done a lot of other films as well, indie films, you know, all the Alexander Payne films, Election, Citizen Ruth, About Schmidt. Indie films like American Zombie, a great Korean film entitled The Host, Expired, just a bunch of stuff. I'm really, really attracted to, um, you know, funny, offbeat, quirky kinds of scripts, you know, and smart, they have to be smart, like Juno. Juno was a very good film. I wish I had cast Juno. You know. Yeah, I guess I'll see. Recently, I was hired to cast a low budget horror movie entitled The Blamed. No, no. This is a real client for me, Rebecca. I, these guys are going to pay my bills. I'm not going to go on record saying what I really think of their project just to prop up some candy ass reality show. We won't make it for the show. We'll make it for the making of the show. John, Greg just called and said that he and Jerry are coming over to sit in on the casting session today. No, they're not. They just, they got their days confused. It's their producer sessions start on Friday. Well, I know. I, I told him that, but Jerry wants to hear a screenplay read aloud. Fuck me. No. The answer is no. Call them back and tell them no. They can't come. Oh. Oh, give me the goddamn phone. Number? Sometimes a casting director will bring in actors for a specific role, uh, uh, for what's known as a pre-read. We put them on tape, and then from those sessions, the pre-read sessions, we'll take the best of the best of the actors, bring them back in at another time for the director and the producer. And that's what is known as a callback. The director and the producer are never at the pre-reads. This is about the, the strippers. That's all this is about. The fucking bastards are not gonna turn my casting office into a goddamn skanky-ass titty bar. Hey, Greg! Hey, it's John. So, Casey tells me that uh, you guys wanna come over to the pre-reads today, and I think that's a really bad... It can be a real challenge sometimes to uh, try to keep all of the various personalities on a project happy. I love a challenge. Well, if he wants to hear his script read aloud, who am I to stand in the way? I'll go get the lunch menus. I'm Casey Brown. I am John Jackson's associate casting director. ACD, I like to say, because it's shorter. Basically, I assist in casting sessions, and most importantly, I am like John's external hard drive. John cannot remember a single actor's name. So if we're in a meeting and a director's like, what actor uh, was in the hills and has blonde hair, I'll be like, oh, Lauren Conrad, and John will get this pale look, and I'll get a post-it note and write the name Lauren Conrad and stick it on my leg, and then he'll look down and be like, Lauren Conrad, and everyone thinks he did it. Oh my god, I forgot to, I forgot to order lunch, I'm sorry. Um, hey. Hey, will Jerry eat Indian food? I don't know, because that is what he's going to get. He's an idiot. I'm his boss, but he doesn't like me to say it out loud. Do you believe that I was Casey Brown in my interview? How could you not be Casey Brown? You are Casey I don't Brown. Know. Sometimes I'm over the top. Shh, you can tell me that twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you get it in my bag and steal my lip gloss again, you bitch? That is $45. Ooh, it looks good, doesn't it? You know, you need to worry about John instead of me. He's gonna freak out as soon as he finds out that you invited Jerry here today. He told me that I couldn't audition and I wasn't right for the part. Like, you can be right for a part. It's called fucking acting. <laughs> you know what? I figured that if Jerry was here, I could probably talk him into auditioning me. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
Don't you ever read The Secret or watch Oprah or enlighten yourself in any way? Oh, I can't stand that bitch talking about the secret. I got a secret for her. Psh, you're black. Okay. Sometimes a, a director will want authenticity for a role. Jerry, who is the uh, director of The Blamed, was adamant that this particular role be played by an actual stripper. It's okay, are you nervous? Do I look at you with the camera? Okay. Um, heck yeah, I'm nervous. I mean, I perform all the time, but normally I don't like saying anything. Casting is my day job. I'm actually an actress. It can be really frustrating, to say the least, when I am forced to work with these people who are clearly not actors. I mean, I went to school for this. I have a degree in acting. Try and say the lines like you would to any customer. They're, they're clients. We call them clients. They used to have a SAG card that you got and it meant something. Betty Davis would be fucking rolling in her grave because now they give it to any asshole who's willing to, 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 to kiss up on set to the second AD or suck cock in the bathroom. Have you seen those porta potties?